elder statesman and senior advocate of Nigeria, Afe Babalola, recently held a press briefing where he canvassed the need for the suspension of the 2023 general election. Premising his decision on the need to chart a new course for Nigeria, the legal icon also suggested that an interim government comprising former presidents and vice presidents, selected governors, representatives of prominent association, among others, be put in place for six months. He also craved a new look people's constitution, which should make provision for part-time legislators and non-executive president. The submission of the legal luminary has not gone without rousing the rabble, setting the tone for this cause and pitching Nigerians to either support or voice disagreement to the suggestion. For me, I think I buy a little of that he has said, because if one sees right now, uh, what, why and how have, have we found ourselves in this position? The constitution is part of it, the implementation of the constitutions, the people that implement the constitutions, we're just cycling, we're just moving around the same circle. There's no improvement if we want to be sincere with ourselves. Uh, the standard of living in terms of, uh, the standard of living in terms of um, the people, infrastructures and so on and so forth, insecurity and the architecture has become a problem in this country. Economy is in doldrums and so on and so forth. How many years is the age of Nigeria now? Where have we gone to that you, you want to be, uh, beckon on their experience, experience of the same people that have failed us? If, there is, if you ask me and the power is in my hand, anyone that has surfaced in government before should not in any way come up and they should not be opinion leaders in any way. But the legal practitioner, Biodon Fashakin, believes the elder statesman means well for Nigeria and the skulls seem the perfect solution to all of the country's problems. Let all of us come together to solve these problems, these challenges that are sparing us in the face. Then thereafter, we can attempt to reorganize the system. Do you understand? Which is like praying all of us for a total overhaul of the system. Let's stop recycling the system. This system cannot, do you understand? Cannot change itself. This system, there is no way this system can produce what you and me want. Describing Afeba Bolola's call as complicated, a professor Ulu Ade Romo and legal practitioner Ade Tunji Oshaw noted that making the current 1999 constitution workable should top priority. And uh, I believe strongly that the election should go on uh, so that because that will create additional problems. People will take care of, uh, take advantage of the caretaker committee. They will ensure those who are going to constitute the caretaker committee. Uh, all kinds of partisanship may, 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 may be there. The interim government was manipulated and thrown out and overthrown. Shudeko was there, he was kicked out. There is no perfect constitution anywhere in the world. After all, the one we are operating was copied from somewhere. And those ones are not saying that let us throw a constitution. They improve on it. So let us also make the constitution we have workable. According to some observers, there are unseen elements who have always had a say on who rules Nigeria since 1999. According to these observers, Afe Babalola is close to them and he is respected by all. Could there be any merit in his call or perhaps it's a script waiting to be acted? Sahid Arubisala, OSRC News.